welcome to the post market update from Nirmal Bang. I'm Eural Dadia. Overall, if you go to see, it was a good day of trade. In fact, it's the third consecutive session where the benchmark indices have ended uh, in the positive. Uh, clearly, if you see Nifty 50, it reclaimed that 9,100 mark in today's trading session. In fact, on closing basis, we closed above that 9,100 level with gains of almost around half a percent coming in there. On the front of the set, on Sensex as well, we saw gains of around four tenths of a percent. Uh, broader markets clearly outperformed benchmark indices in trade today. Uh, we saw the BSE mid cap and the small cap index, which ended with gains of almost six tenths of a percent to around eight tenths of a percent. Uh, overall, there was some pressure on the financials today, wherein Bank Nifty was the top losing sector, which ended with cuts of almost uh, six tenths of a percent. Whereas, very interestingly, it was the auto index which was the top gainer. We saw gains of almost little over two and a half percent that did come in on Nifty Auto. Uh, in terms of individual stocks as well, a, a lot of uh, you know stock specific movement is what we saw. Uh, but clearly, if you talk about different and various sectors, uh, it was a pretty mixed move except the financials. There were some good gains uh, that did come in on the other sectors. Uh, overall, if you go to see, apart from the auto pack, you had the metal pack as well. Uh, that was one space which did see smart gains uh, in today's trading session and that's because now you've seen a lot of industries that have started to open up and that's something which is supporting uh, the metal pack as a whole uh, apart from you know uh, in, apart from auto as well as metals there was some pressure on the other sectors as well uh, but clearly if you go to see in terms of stock specific action mainly it was ITC, Hindaku, Asian Paints, Hero Moto as well as Maruti Suzuki these were the top gainers that came in on Nifty 50 whereas Bajaj Finserve and uh, Indusin Bank, NTPC, Bajaj Finance and Adani Port these were the top losers as well uh, on Nifty 50. Moving away from there if you talk about uh, BSC 500 as well TBS, Sri Chakra, uh, Mahindra Holidays, Inox Leisure, Aditya Burla Fashion, SCI, these were the top losers on BSE 500, whereas uh, gainers on BSE 500, I beg your pardon, but on the losing end, you had stocks like Brigade Enterprises, Gayatri Projects, Future Lifestyle, Bandhan Bank, as well as uh, Chennai Petro. Uh, no stocks actually hit a 52-week high in today's session, at least on Nifty 50, uh, neither lows. But on in the, if you see the broader markets, it's stocks like Alembic Pharma, JB Pharma Chemicals, Aurobindo Pharma, Adani Green, India Cements, and Sinjin. A lot of pharma names that are from BSE 500 that hit a 52-week high. Whereas you had stocks like Chalet Hotels, uh, Chola Mandalam Finance, India Bulls Integrated, Lemon Tree Hotels, Repco Home Finance, Shopstop. These were counters that actually hit a 52-week low. Uh, moving away, let's see which were the movers and shakers. So you had Pyramal Enterprises uh, that zoomed in trade today on the back of the fundraising plan via NCDs. Uh, Indico was up in trade and uh, this was on the back of the collaboration with uh, IMD and that's one of the reasons which gave a boost on that counter. Aviation stocks also gained traction on the back of the government allowing resumption of domestic flights. So Indico as well as Spicejet were two other counters uh, that saw smart gains. Uh, Gujarat Poly Electronics also jumped on resuming operations at their Gandhi Nagar unit. So these have been few of the movers and shakers in trade. But overall, uh, if you go to see ITC, we already mentioned that was another one. State Bank of India, a large uh, trade that did happen on 20 lakh shares exchanged hands with regards to SBI and that stock ended with gains uh, on the bourses today. Trend was amongst the 10 best performers on Nifty 500 index as well. And that stock is up for a second consecutive session. Uh, apart from that, if you talk about the Zenzar Technologies as well, uh, they have extended their strategic initiative with uh, uh, Adobe. So that was another stock that we've been focusing on in today's session. And Relaxo Footwear, that stock is up for a third consecutive session. You know, smart gains did come in with regards to Relaxo Footwear as well in terms of trade. So a lot of movers and shakers in trade today. Third consecutive session of gains is what we've seen uh, in terms of their markets go and in terms of sectors once again auto was the top performing index followed by metals and with that if you talk about fmcg media they also saw smart gains it was mainly the banking pack that was an underperformer in today's day of trade how tomorrow's session pans out is going to be interesting to see because next week is a truncated week monday is a holiday so there is a possibility that you will see a lot of covering, uh, short covering that could be happening in tomorrow's session. So it's going to be an interesting day uh, in terms of a Friday uh, as well. That's all that we have in the post-market update from Nirmal Bang. Thanks for watching.